Well, shalom, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is where the disc brake lock was located. And I made the mistake of trying to start the bike while it was in gear and it jumped forward. Ended up bringing the, uh, the lock up against this shock tower and it broke the lock internally and then I couldn't remove it, of course. I was thinking I was gonna have to cut it off. I went up on YouTube and watched videos and uh, it didn't look like I was gonna have much success with it, um, independently of getting it cut off or with a ziz wheel, uh, with a gas wrench or something. I got I got out here this morning with a with a set of uh, with a, a screwdriver, and you can see what what's left over after I started attacking this thing, peeling peeling pieces of steel out of it. This is this is the culprit here. Let me get out of the light. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna help or not. But you got the lock cylinder. I thought I was gonna have to cut it over here to relieve the uh, the halves. But what I was able to do is get in here with a screwdriver that now has a broken bit. And I'm sure there's no warranty on a Klein tool that you use it to do this kind of thing with. But it was a nice tool, did what it needed to do. Better to sacrifice one tool than have to spend another 30 or 40 dollars on um, getting this thing cut off or whatever it would have cost me. Uh, what I was able to do is get in here with a screwdriver and just uh, start driving back the uh, the metal, working the, uh, the lock itself back and forth. I figured if I could remove it, sure enough, it's only held in there. I don't know if you can really see that on the camera, but it's that one hole on the back to drive a pin in, and uh, that ends up securing the lock the uh, again I don't know how you how well you can see that but you can look down in there and see that little tiny uh, piece they use it's like a pinch pinch piece of brass and that's sheared and the idea behind it apparently is if somebody tries to hit the lock with a with a big hammer, to try to break it, it's going to break the, the small part inside. Because that's a bit equivalent to what I did when I cracked the engine open, uh, started tried to start the engine and drove it forward into the shock tower. It was a good impact and it broke the, it broke the securing piece. So even though I was able to spin the lock back and forth, I couldn't get the uh, pin to release. This is a uh, 50, 50, 64, uh, on guard. It didn't survive the uh, onslaught, but that's fine. <clears throat> there is no lock that, that will prevent a determined bike thief from stealing the bike. I, it, it helped me for the winter time, and now it's, uh, I'll put another lock on it, whatever, it's not a big deal, but I'll put this one up on YouTube, and somebody else has the same problem with an on-guard lock, this is how you break through it. Thanks for watching. Shalom.